Hey there, children of God. Today we have a story from the Old Testament, and it's about some of those other really cool messengers of God, God's people, known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the story today is called The Fiery Furnace. <gasps> that sounds a little scary. Let's look. Hmm. Well, let's read and find out what's happening, okay? King Nebuchadnezzar was so angry. His face got all scrunched up and he almost turned purple. Why was he so mad? Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, three of his workers had said, no, when King Nebuchadnezzar declared that everyone had to bow down to a huge golden statue he had made of himself. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew that God was the only one that they should worship. And this made King Nebuchadnezzar so angry. No one disobeyed the king. The king demanded to have the men tied up and thrown into a furnace. And he even ordered to have the furnace turned up seven times hotter than normal. Ouch, that was hot. When King Nebuchadnezzar peeked into the furnace to see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he was surprised. I thought we threw three men in there, he shouted but I see four men walking around in there and they aren't even tied up. They're fine. What's going on? The extra man in the furnace was an angel sent by God to protect the three men from the fire. The king flung open the doors of the hot fiery furnace and he called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Come out right now. <laughs> when they came out, everyone noticed that the fire hadn't hurt them. They didn't even smell like smoke. Look. Wow. King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed, realizing what had happened. Your God sent an angel to protect you. You disobeyed me and faced death rather than worship someone other than God. I declare that no one in any country can say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because no God can do what their God can do. Wow, that's pretty amazing. God used Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to open the eyes of King Nebuchadnezzar to realize that he was God. Hmm. You know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were really, really brave because I'll bet they were afraid but they did the right thing, even though they were afraid. When do you get scared? And how do you know that God is with you at scary times? Look for God, and I bet you, you'll find ways that he is working in your life right now. Talk to those caring adults that love you, and I bet you they can help you. Why don't you make a list today of all the cool ways that God is here to help you. And you might start on that list by putting the caring adults that love you. So remember, until I see you again, I'm doing children's sermon this Sunday, so look for that in church. And I'll be back on Friday with a story about Daniel 
and a science experiment too. So we'll see you on Friday and also on Sunday. Until then, remember that God loves you and so do we.